hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is patience thanks for checking out this video yes so today's video i'm finally bringing you the kitchen um which has been completed as far as the kitchen guy is concerned any other little bits are down to me to organize to get done now so yes i'm excited to show you the um the kitchen now that all the cabinetry are in and the appliances are in and also going to be sharing the cost of the kitchen with you guys a bit towards the end i'm going to try and price things as we go through but before all that i know some of you guys are new to my channel and my videos and just wanted to kind of take things back a little bit just to remind everybody of how it all started out so on the screen you can see where the power points were redone and need the sockets to be put in and here you can see the kitchen in the early stages when it was just a bare canvas so this was when after we got all the spotters out and the walls had gotten screeded you know so ready for plastering just for us to you know get an idea of the room size and I can start planning visually where things would be placed. So here it is guys. This is the kitchen all done. Well not all done. If some of you did watch my last video. I did give you a little sneak peek, peek photo. Um, I know I think that last video not many people watched till the end. So they didn't get to see that sneak peek but hey ho you get to see it now I know a few people have reached out to me wanting to know what you know how the outcome of the kitchen was going to turn out uh, many of you are interested in using the same guy who did mine and yes I know there was some frustration with the time scale and waiting on the materials um, but yes here we are the kitchen is all in all the cabinets are in and the appliances are in so you know it's all functional now the only thing that i need to get done in terms of the appliances is to hook up the the gas canister to the cooker the guys drilled a hole for me through through the kitchen wall to outside so that i could house the gas canister outside and and hook it all up through the pipe so that I could have gas on, you know, on tap a bit like how we do in the UK, basically. So, yes, this is the kitchen. Um, the worktops ended up coming from a different provider than the guy who quoted me for the kitchen. Because the options that he had sent me, I didn't like. So then we found a second option and went with this stone. I wanted something you know a bit more plain and what Kojo had on offer and most of it was quite dark and I didn't like that I wanted a, you know something as white as possible because obviously all the cabinets were dark grey okay so let's talk pricing I know that's what a lot of you wanted to know how much did it cost for this kitchen to be put in so okay so originally I was quoted a total of 36,500 Ghana cities and this was back in April 2022. So please don't expect the same prices because cost of materials have gone up. You know, cost of workmanship has gone up as well. So that was the original quote for the cabinets. And then later I added a few more features. So then the price went up by another 10,000 cities so I had asked for a pull-out spice rack by the fridge unit and also I had wanted the shelf unit as you enter the kitchen which caused a lot of pain and then had to settle on a diagonal shape which I think has worked out very well so I'm happy with that. I also wanted a couple of shelves put up just under where the aircon unit is so just beside the spice rack basically so the price is inclusive of all the cabinets as i said 
So the top, the bottom, if I had, you know, more wall space, I think the price would have stayed the same for the cabinets that I would have had on top as well. And then also it included the sink and tap. And trying to think, and then I wanted, um, you know, drawers that pull, pull out instead of the traditional cupboards that, you know, you just open the door and then you can go in. I wanted that pull out drawers. On the island, the cabinets, there are the open ones, which is fine. And then with a couple of pullouts there too. So the stone worktops, remember I said that we had to go to another provider because I, I didn't like the ones that were on offer with the original quotes. So that price, you know, we had to deduct the money from of that for the final payment of the kitchen so that we could get somebody else to come in and do the worktops for us. The worktops cost a total of 18,000 Ghana cities. Um, and it's like really decent ones. I remember when the guy came to see me and I chose from the photos. You know, I could see, even in the picture, you could see the quality. And just to remind you guys that the appliances I bought from Black Park... The extractor fan cost 4,000 Ghana cities. The microwave cost 3,800 Ghana cities. And the other oven was 3,700 Ghana cities, all fitted in by the kitchen guys. The tap was inclusive in the pricing, as I said, but I know that that cost 2,000 Ghana cities from Orca. The sink, I don't know what the individual price was because it was all inclusive. The lights I brought from the UK from B&Q and they were £35 each. So that's a total of £105. I can't remember what the exchange rate was at the time. But if I had to guess, I'd say maybe altogether that was 1,500 cities. So off the top of my head with my numbers, I'd say the kitchen cost around 57100 so far i'm still yet to buy a permanent fridge we're just going to use a small one that's there for now so again just off the top of my head i'd say everything so far has cost fifty-seven thousand one hundred, and when you exchange that into sterling that's around about four thousand english pounds um so you can do the maths and work out what it is in your local currency well done to those of you who did reach out to me in the initial stages. You guys saw the vision and emailed me and asked me for the contact of the kitchen guys. So, you know, likely the pricing that you probably got quoted is a lot um, cheaper than what it is today. So well done to you guys. Yes, so I'm left with, I need to get the kitchen painted. I need to clean up where they've done work on these sockets. So just need to clean that up and get the Andri back on there before painting. Need to sort out the skirting. Um, also that the blank wall opposite the window. I've got a couple of plans for it. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do, but I have got a couple of plans. And I'm just going to work out which one I think, you know, sits well with me and go with that. I'm probably not going to be showing you guys another kitchen video for a few months until when I'm back there. So... Yes, the kitchen's in and I'm now going to stop talking about the kitchen. But, you know, it's been a labor of love. So, you know, just let me know what you guys think. Do you like the color scheme of the kitchen, the placement of the units? Um, yeah, just let me know your thoughts. I know some of you have been waiting, waiting patiently to find out the cost. So, um, yeah, happy to bring you this video finally. Okay, folks, so we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've watched up to this point, thank you. If you're new here, I hope you like the video. And please remember to subscribe to the channel to help it grow and help support your girl. And if you have anything you need to ask me, please ask below in the comment section. If you guys are interested in using the kitchen guys, then please send me an email at connect with patients at gmail.com i look forward to reading your comments down below and until the next video guys have a blessed day bye <laughs>